Hi everyone. Welcome to On Point. Today we are going to discuss about erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR. So without any delay let's start the video. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR. An erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, is a type of blood test, that measures how quickly erythrocytes or, red blood cells, settle at the bottom of a test tube, that contains a blood sample. Normally, red blood cells settle relatively slowly. A faster than normal rate may indicate inflammation in the body. Inflammation is part of your immune response system. It can be a reaction to an infection, or injury. Inflammation may also be a sign of a chronic disease, an immune disorder, or other medical condition. Methods There are two methods for measuring your erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Westergren method Wintrobe method Uses An ESR test can help determine, if you have a condition that causes inflammation. These include arthritis, vasculitis, or inflammatory bowel disease. An ESR may also be used to monitor an existing condition. Symptoms ESR is done if you have symptoms of an inflammatory disorder. These include Headaches Fever Weight loss Joint stiffness Neck or shoulder pain Loss of appetite Anemia Result If your ESR is high, it may be related to an inflammatory condition, such as Infection Rheumatoid arthritis Rheumatic fever Vascular disease Inflammatory bowel disease Heart disease Kidney disease Certain cancers Sometimes the ESR can be slower than normal. A slow ESR may indicate a blood disorder, such as Polycythemia Sickle cell anemia Leukocytosis, an abnormal increase in white blood cells. If your results are not in the normal range, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a medical condition, that requires treatment. A moderate ESR may indicate pregnancy, menstruation, or anemia, rather than an inflammatory disease. Certain medicines and supplements, can also affect your results. These include oral contraceptives, aspirin, cortisone, and vitamin A. That's all for now. For more updates please do like, share, and subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you.